It's cute. Here's a better look at my makeup. <laughs> Hello, it's Wednesday night, the day before Stacy, and I am dyeing my hair. Can you tell this is my hair dyeing towel and I only ever dye my hair pink? I'm actually out of um, my favorite color. I use the Lunar Tides hair dye and my favorite is the lychee color. Wait, is it focusing? Yeah, my favorite is the lychee color but um, I'm all out of it right now. So I'm going to try out, I haven't tried this one yet, but I got it last time. Um, it's this color, Smoky Mauve. So yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it looks okay. It's kind of darker color, which I want. My gloves. I will show you my hair dyeing process, which is very messy. And it's just me like slathering hair dye on my hair. <laughs> There's no proper process to it. It's, oh. I already got it on me. Roots to ends. Oh. I don't really bother separating my hair because the, the bleached bits are just like everywhere randomly in my hair. I'm really, really excited for Stacy, of course. And I'm gonna go pretty early. I think VIP check-in is at three, but I'll be there at like 10 a.m. Cause I really, I want barricade, you know? You know me and barricade. These gloves are like way too big. So they're making this even messier. That is all. I will leave this in for about half an hour and then shower, rinse it out. And I'll be back after that to show you guys the results. Hair reveal, here is my new hair. I actually really love the darker color. I love the way it like blends into my hair really nicely. And I curled it and everything. So I don't have to do it tomorrow in the morning while I'm getting ready and stressed. I also put on this phone case again. I had the My Melody one on for a while, but this one is more protective and also has the pop socket, which helps when I'm filming, obviously. And here is the outfit. I finally finished putting it together. This is the top that I showed in my last video. Um, and I added elastic straps so it's not gonna fall off. And then this cardigan that I also got in the last video and I cut the string off that was originally used to tie it because I didn't really like it. It looked kind of messy and I added like like this one instead and I attached this bow here. And this is the skirt that I kind of like embellished. I added like these details as well as the pink underneath. Uh, these leg warmers that I got and I added the bows but they have these cute little pom-poms and then the these white fluffy leg warmers as well that's the outfit here is the concert bag almost ready to be packed up oh and i've been asked several times about like what's in my concert bag or how do i prepare for a concert so this is sort of the essentials at least for me number one essential is portable chargers i will not go to any event without a portable charger if not two i'm bringing two to stacy so I have this one that I charged up last night and this one that I'm going to charge tonight. This one is actually really good and I'll put the link on Amazon. I really like this one. It's lasted me like entire concerts just using this one. And I like that it's not too bulky either. Like it just fits in my purse, especially if you're at a concert where like they only allow like a four by six clear bag. This one is really helpful. And then this one isn't as good. It's cute, but it's not as good. It still charges though. It used to say charge on it. Yeah. And I actually have another charger as well. And when I do like the back-to-back -back TXT concerts, I like to have three because then one can always be charging and I can always have two on me. But for Stacy, two is going to be fine. And I actually think I could go all the way on this one. But yeah, portable chargers, obviously money. Um, I just have like a few dollars cash and then my cards. ID, very important. I don't drive, so I have to bring my passport. This bag here has just like essentials. The essentials being a hair roller, makeup, like powder, lip balm, and then I'll add like whatever lip stick I end up using tomorrow as well. And then this little bag of like band-aids and wipes and pads and stuff. I think that my next essential is just photo cards because you have gotta have them um, and chains. I'm gonna like 
pack everything up in a second and add like the photo cards and make it look cute basically. And I'll show you when I'm done with that. Food, I don't wanna like pass out and die. So I bought these two protein bars. They're okay. I'm not a big fan of bars, but I eat them when I have to. Mask in case, and these are hand warmers because, oh, this one's toe warmers. I don't need that one, I don't know why I brought that. Hand warmers because gonna be really cold in san francisco at 10 a.m and if it was cold I'd, or warm i would bring like a cooling agent like a fan or something i have a mini fan but yeah that is pretty much my essentials besides of course my phone and here i have the sign that i made for isa i actually made this last year when i saw them at kcon like the kcon tour so i showed this to her and she saw it when i went to the high touch event and it says, before it just had the Aisa part and the Aisa part was here, but now it says Aisa Gongchu name, which is like Princess Aisa. Maybe she'll recognize it, I don't know. Here are the nails I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna put these on tonight as well. They're the Kuromi My Melody nails from Hot Topic. I forgot to add to my outfit, but this is also part of the fit tomorrow, that little headpiece. So now it's complete. I have all this stuff now, but I'm like notoriously a light packer. When I saw TXT in Houston, they were telling us no bags. You cannot bring a bag in. So I literally had my debit card in my Yeonjun PC holder. I had my passport in the waistband of my skirt because I didn't have pockets. I had my Moabong clips in my belt, my phone in my hand, and then my Terry slogan in my cowboy hat because they were telling us we couldn't bring in slogans either. So I hid it in my hat. Anyways, that was hard that was treacherous i didn't even have a portable charger that time i think i borrowed my friends but i was like i'm never i can't do that anymore like i have to be more prepared because we didn't have food we have nothing and luckily we had some very nice girls help us out and let us like eat their food and drink their water it was very very nice and then when i went to new york slash new jersey for the vmas like just recently I traveled to New York, like across the country with nothing but a tote bag. That's all I brought. And it wasn't even, I didn't even have like a jacket and I was freezing at the airport the entire time. But you know, it's just how I roll. Like I'm trying to be better and more prepared. Realistically, I could go with just my portable chargers and my ID. Like that's all I really, really need. But you know, I try to be, try to be better. And that's what I have. So I will go pack up my clear bag now. Here is a concert bag ready to go. I added this my Melody and as you can see, she's kind of been through it. So she's gonna go through it some more, you know? I just had to do it to her. I'm so sorry to this my Melody. She's been everywhere. And then a little, the little keychain. I saw Sian. I always pull Sian's card, so I have her in here. And behind that is like my passport and stuff. My sign for Isa, of course, and then all the other stuff that I actually need. The crown, I'm gonna try and give to her. Maybe during sound check or like when they're ending the show, but we'll see if I can actually give it to her. And all this has my important stuff, which I forgot I have to add nail glue in case any of these pop off. I can put them back on. And yeah, that is a concert bag. It's about 10 p.m. now, so I'm going to go sleep and I'll be up probably around like 6.30 to get ready and then I want to leave by 8. So we'll see how that goes and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I have my coffee and I'm going to do my makeup and I will see you when I'm done with it. <laughs> I finished my makeup except for my lips. I'll do those last after I eat and I'll probably eat in the car. But this is the look. I wanted like a sparkly kind of ice princessy. It was also inspired by a makeup look that was on Isa. But now I just need to change and then I'll be on my way. Ta-da! Here is the fit! Whenever I put on an outfit for a K-pop concert, I truly feel like I'm a soldier like getting suited up for war. Here's a better look at my makeup and the little headband thing I made. Yeah, I'm about to go. I'm really, really excited. Stacy girls, it's going down. <laughs>
It's Thursday, exactly one week after Stacy concert, and I was filming another YouTube video when I realized I forgot to film a conclusion or like outro to the Stacy concert vlog. So I'm going to do that now. Here is everything I got. My VIP lanyard that I forgot to film getting at the concert. Oops, it's really cute. I really like it. Foam Goo PC, this was gifted by a friend. <laughs> and this people were giving out pokemon cards so this is cute i'm gonna give it to my brother a little sayon pc with some candy and stickers this isa photo strip it's so adorable like i really like that picture this isa pc that i got confetti this i didn't even have to collect it a bunch just fell into my bag and these banners i got extra ones for my friends so cute I really love them and I can't wait to put them up somewhere on my wall. The reason I didn't talk to the camera or give updates while I was waiting in line is because the street we were waiting on, there was construction going on the whole time. So it was really noisy. You wouldn't be able to hear anything. And then I was alone for most of the day. So I felt really like awkward and embarrassed to talk to the camera by myself. And then once the person who bought my ticket showed up, it moved very fast after that. I originally wanted to go to the right side of the stage because that's where Isa usually stands in like their formations. But when I got in, I noticed that there was like space only at the left side and I entered at the left side too. So I was just closer. So I just ran to like the open spot that I saw and it actually ended up being better, I think, than the right side because Isa kept coming over and Sian kept coming over too. And obviously she took my crown and everything. 
and overall it was a really good experience. The girls were super interactive and their voices live are absolutely amazing. They're amazing vocalists and performers. The only thing though, it was also really, really loud because we were right by the speakers. Like the speakers were right here. And I think in my concert footage, the audio keeps cutting out because it's so loud. I was most sore after this concert than like any other I've gone to, surprisingly. We were standing since we got in at 5.30 till it ended at 10.30. I passed out like on the car ride home. I haven't even mentioned yet, but after the concert, I also had the high touch experience and that was really amazing. I didn't film any of it or try to, it wasn't allowed. And I could tell they were really strict and I didn't want to risk it. And I also really wanted to, you know, enjoy the moment. When I went in, Jay was the first one I talked to and he said like, good job in Korean. And then Isa was next and I showed her my sign. I was like, Isa going to name. And I, why I need to film is I can't remember things, but I was like, I love you so much. You did such a good job. She's like, oh, thank you. I said it in Korean and she said, thank you in Korean. And then she said more in Korean. And I don't know what she said because I didn't have time to like process anything because we we're being rushed along and my Korean's not good. So I was just like, yeah. <laughs> like I, I don't really remember what she said. And then I kind of forget the order after that. I think it might've been Sian or Sumin. And then I think Yoon was last and San was second last maybe i can't even remember after that but i just told them like good job i love you so much and yeah that was the stacy concert experience i'm so happy i went i wish i went to more stops like i wish i could have gone to la as well but oh well i will see them on their next tour and i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did please give it a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already i have a new video coming up soon so until then bye bye